Here's the artificial head on a brown trout. And what I'm doing is utilizing his real gill that has been carded and dried. After skinning, I removed the head so we can put an artificial head on this. Now they're kind of oily. So the gill was saved because the artificial gills just don't seem that natural. And what I do here is this is the whole gill that's been removed, carted out. You can see the individual gills inside. Now I'm going to be cutting this using a pair of snips. Opening this gill up. And then this little cartilage area that attached it to the head is going to be removed. You can see it's really a greasy spot on the fish. That's why the artificial head is put in. So we'll remove this. See the grease on my hands. Just in that one little section on the fish. almost like a pork rind. Trimming as much of that out so there's still all the gill stays together. And it's nice and flexible. Let me put into the to the mount and paint it and you'll have a natural gill. a little bit of borax. It's going to be covering up where I've just cut all that cartilage off. Take this we'll get the fish and put them back here. We'll just check it out, see about what we at. This gill is going to slide right into here. And be down with a little bit of glue. We'll put two on this side and two on the other side. That's going to give that artificial head a nice natural look when it's painted. So I'm gonna let these dry for another few days now that that's been cut off and the borax has been added. We'll stick them in there and get it painted. Thanks for watching.